Hey everyone, I uh, hope you're well. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about type. So once you're familiar with int, float, bool, and string, you can check the type of any object uh, just by using the built-in function called type. So using type here basically means the same number can be coded in different types. Uh, but of course, every type uh, does have its own behavior. Uh, by the way, we're calling a function print on the output of another function type. The parentheses define the order in which functions get run. Uh, what's inside one set of parentheses needs to be evaluated first before being given as the input to the next function. So here uh, the type function is run first and then its output is printed. Like we said, uh, different types have different properties. So when you're coding, um, you'll need to choose, choose the types uh, for your data based on how you're going to use them. Uh, for example, if you, if you want to use a number as uh, part of a sentence, it'll be easiest if that number is a string. If you want to encode a true-false value, it'll be much easier to manipulate as a Boolean than a string. It's just easier because each data type has specifically designed functions. Uh, but sometimes there might be situations where you can't control the type of data uh, that you receive, but you still need to use it. Uh, the good thing about Python is that you can create new objects from old and change a type during the process. Here we create a string out of the house number and use that to build a more detailed address. So first we have the house number as well as the street and town name. And you can see that the house number is currently an int. We can change it to a string and use the plus operator to create the full address. You can also build a number from a string like this. Uh, here we start with a string and then wrap it in a float function and then we see the changes.